My name's Eliza Sargent. I'm a primary school teacher at Westgate Community Primary School in Bury St Edmunds. So I grew up going to church, grew up in a Christian home, so church has always been a part of my life. Um, we went to a rural Suffolk church where I have fond memories of Sunday school, youth groups, etc. And then we joined the Forge when I was 17 um, and have been going there ever since. So church has always been a part of my life. So last year I was in my fifth year at Lon in London. I was settled in a job, settled with friends. I was happy there but very quickly became unhappy there. I was struggling with my sleep and as a result I was struggling with stress, with anxiety and as those things do the panic was rising every time. found myself in a bit of a personal pit where I wasn't sleeping well, I was struggling being away from Suffolk and everything just quickly piles up on you and as you do yourself in that situation and those closest to you, you want to fix it. And my parents and I were trying different things, Sam and I were trying, we were praying, we were doing various Bible studies and because when I was panicking my breathing was going, we're trying a breathing exercise of three deep breaths and saying come with me and I tried it a couple of times previous and then it got to a day of Ofsted. I was stood in my classroom, it was the morning of, I was panicking, the atmosphere was tense and I wanted to do well and I was really freaking out about it and it was 7am, I was stood in my dark quiet classroom and I just took three really deep breaths and I said quietly to myself and to God come with me and I knew at that moment that whether the day went really well, whether the day went awfully, whether every day went well or awfully that God was going to come with me and that was a real sense of security and peace that just yeah washed over me at that point. For me now it's a confidence aspect, it's confidence for my faith for me and it's confidence in sharing my faith. I think I never shied away from it and I never shut the door on it but now me owning it and going to church for me and serving for me and being part of a 10 month group for me um, and it's also confidence in sharing it. I've never shied away from talking about faith but Equally, I look forward to it now. It's confidence in, in that knowing that God is with me and I don't just go to him when life gets a little bit tough. It's celebrating the goods and it's sharing that and it's serving and it's putting God at the centre of my relationship, of my job, of me, basically. I want to share it. I want to show that I, I trust God and I know he will come with me from, and he has done, but he will do. And yeah, just show that I know he puts people in my life for a reason, everything I do is for him, through him and just showing that he's the centre of me, he's the centre of my relationship, my friendships, my work and yeah, just sharing that joy and that celebration. Well hello everybody and uh, we are here, we're about to baptise Eliza, I just want to pan round and show uh, a few people and our neighbours who have turned out. Uh, if you can give us a wave, everybody. Everyone's socially distancing nicely. There's Eliza there. Um, we are going to baptise Eliza now. I just want to give a quick explanation on what baptism is, why we do it, um, because for some of you, this will seem really weird and why we do it. Um, we're Christians. We're part of a church called The Forge. Um, and the reason we baptise people is simply because Jesus got baptised. Jesus baptised other people. And it was simply a way just to show people that um, they were following Jesus as well. And so we still believe that Jesus is alive today. His uh, spirit is with us. Eliza believes that uh, today. And so this is currently being live streamed, if you weren't already aware, uh, to lots of people who would call the Forge their home, would call uh, the Forge their community, where Eliza does as well. Uh, and so I want to invite you now um, to, uh, to celebrate with us as we baptize Eliza. Um, so I'm going to try and do this. Hopefully it will keep connection. I'm going to put you currently on. And I can see if this works. Great. And here we go. Are you ready, Sam? <laughs> Lies, have you accepted Jesus into your life? I have. Cool, cool. In which case, we've baptized you. <laughs> 